My boyfriend and I had this crazy idea to buy a school bus, renovate it into our tiny home on wheels, and live out of it while we travel the country together. We're still in the renovating it phase and will be for quite some time as we're starting from scratch with the bare metal bones of our rig that we call Becky. Follow along as we build our first home together. Hello, hello, and welcome to week three of our best demo. I will say at the beginning of this vlog, I got my wisdom teeth out earlier this week, so my mouth doesn't do a lot of moving, can't do a lot of smiling, and that's why my face looks a little bit swollen. Now that that's out of the way, we just got into the bus for the first time, and last week we hit our first rain, found all of our leaks and everything. If you guys remember, we sealed everything, and then we haven't been back in a week, so we wanted to see if all the sealant stayed, if we didn't have any leaks, what the hell happened in the past week. And we did come to our first snow on the bus. So far so good though, no leaks. That is like the best news ever. This like sealant paint feels like rubber up here. Like it obviously did its fucking job. We obviously sealed the roof in the last vlog, all of the ceiling on the inside and then down the sides. We didn't get to the side sides yet though, like these side bottom panels though. I wish we would have finished the flooring and insulated everything last week because since there's snow, this hunk of metal is uh, quite cold. But today's game plan is to finish the flooring. We still need to cut out some of these little pieces in the back area. We need to obviously like nail everything down and then we can insulate the floor. And then top with our plywood, obviously just finishing all of that being our subfloor. We did cut out this piece last time. It has this little notch up front here and it goes around the box that like our engine is in and everything. So we do have one piece of plywood done. We wanted to just make sure that our measurements kind of like lined up correctly before we like 100% nailed everything down. Oh no, there's water. I did find a leak. Well, I don't know if it's leak or if it's just a condensation because this is metal. It's a hunk of metal. I have heard that a lot that the bus is just going to like accumulate and like molding is a big issue within like schoolies and stuff like that because it's metal and the condensation gets really bad. Babe, I found a leak. I don't know if it's a leak or if it's just condensation, but there's some droplets here. We don't have any more of this like sealant paint. We used it all last time. Oh, we're not even sure what this even is. Like, I don't know if they cut this out or like, but we're gonna try to at least cock it for now and see if that helps. Oh, that's the flex glue? Yeah. Okay, well that shit's good. So to finish this out, Cohen just measured from one side to the other so you could get that last back baseboard. And then we just measured from these boards that were already nailed down to the back of the baseboard. So now you have the rest of these big ones down. We just need to do a couple more here. Or do you think we don't need that because this is going to be the bed that's area? That's going to be the bed area. But we might put a couple more in this section because this is going to be the shower. I don't want this level. No, I agree. Are we going long ways or are we going... <laughs> so we were talking last week and we were trying to figure out what we wanted to do with the bed because I don't know making decisions for me is a lot harder like he's like let's fucking do this shit and I don't know I have like commitment issues to make any like permanent decisions in this bus because like what if it doesn't work or what if we don't like it I feel like we looked at a lot of them so far I think it would be nice to have this door open where you can take the shower outside and then you have like those French doors we're putting on and it could be like another little shower but outdoors I like that idea I think that's the best idea that we've had I too it's still just scary so I think we're deciding on the bed being this way instead of like long ways and pushed all the way in the back most people just take up the whole back of the bus with the bed but do we think because i'm trying to also picture like if we make this the shower is this actually going to be enough room for a shower though can you take this plywood and just like put it in here yeah wall will be right here this will be the wall right here and then the rest of this will be the bed all this look right here okay hold the clock she made a decision, guys. I don't know if you're recording or not, but it's probably you should have been recording that. That was scary. I feel like, I don't know. Hi, Maya. Hi, girly. Oh my goodness. This is gonna be your home. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Thank you for the nose boop. Final decision. This piece right here, like this little like cutaway there is gonna be our wet bath for a compost toilet shower. And then this is gonna be the bed. So the bed's gonna run this way instead of like sideways. I like the idea that like nobody else has had like that set up with like the French doors that we're gonna put in for that handicap. Yeah. And then you can pull the thing out and have like an outdoor shower and stuff as well too. I guess that's what's nerve wracking. It's like, what if it doesn't work? 
And like, what if we wasted our space or like, now we can't even use it or like, I don't know. Because I've never seen anybody else do it. So is there a reason nobody else is doing it? Is it because it doesn't work? I think that's what's hard for me is I, I want to see an example, but nobody's done it. Well, there we go. Going with it. 19 and like four eights. 19 and two eights. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. So we got this pilot hole tool, I guess you could say. So that way we can drill in little holes sideways here. So that way we can connect it to the boards. These are all of our little like sideway pieces. We were just trying different <laughs> links. <laughs> this looks a little crooked. <laughs> but we know how to use it now. We had to watch a YouTube video. So essentially we gotta pick all these up. We gotta drill little pilot holes here and here. And then we gotta drill them in to all the sides on all these boards. You ready? Let's freaking do this. There's a whole bunch of water right here. What? Probably came from that drip that we just sealed up. Yeah, it looks like it's that from there. Good. We got some bad news. We ended up getting, what is this? Half inch. Half inch plywood. But now that we're playing with this half inch plywood down, um, it, it gives like way too much. Like us walking around on it is like caving in and everything around it. We're thinking that we want to go back and get the thicker plywood. So that way it is like rock solid. Like obviously we don't want to be walking around on the floor and it caving in or just moving when we walk. Cause once we put more weight in here, once we put the cabinets in here, once we're walking around, like it's just not going to be that sturdy. And even just putting flooring on this, if the flooring is like, you know, bellowing and curving, then the flooring is going to crack depending on what we use. If we're using like some sort of tile or like laminate or like we obviously we have no idea what we're doing down there. It's just going to cause a lot more problems. We were hoping for one weekend where we didn't have to go to Lowe's. And yet here we are. It wouldn't be that much of an inconvenience if we weren't like 30 minutes away from the nearest town. We're like in the middle of nowhere. So every time we want to go get something, it takes an hour out of our day at minimum. That's what I was saying. We just got back and it's only 6 11 and it's pitch black outside. We're definitely gonna need lights so we can keep working on the bus. Let there be light. So this was our old plywood versus our new plywood. Cohen's just tracing out the cut that we had already made on the old one to go around the box at the front of the bus. The piece of wood fits. We cut it around our engine box. Again, we just traced it from the last piece, so it fit. <laughs> but this looks so much better. So much better than the last one. That's crazy. Not cutting corners, babe. No cutting corners. But now that we know that it fits and it looks better, we're gonna take this off. We only did like the pilot holes. We didn't actually drill in anything, but now we're gonna drill in all these middle pieces all the way back. So that way that one, the center stage here is solid.
finish the subfloor, at least in the center panel today. We will not be cutting styrofoam for our edges over here or over here because we kind of want to figure out our floor plan a little bit more. We need to figure out where all of our like plumbing issues are going to be and stuff because if we need to drill any holes anywhere, we don't want to have to tear up our flooring. So we're not going to do any of the styrofoaming on the sides, but we will cut our plywood so that way we basically have a flat floor. Um, that way we can start like blue painters taping out our layouts and stuff so we can figure out where all the plumbing's going to go. For now, we're just going to lay the plywood down on the sides, but actually liquid nail and screw down the middle planks here. So we have like our middle walkway and runway. <laughs> yeah. That's so exciting. Let's finish her. Now that every square is done for the next eight foot plywood panel, we just need to take our foil tape and tape around all the edges of every single one of these squares and any little nook and cranny. We're also covering up like these edges, like any little opening we're trying to cover up so we can insulate the flooring as best as possible. Taped. We got no open edges or open little anythings. We're about to go bring in the other plywood piece and lay it down and it's gonna cover everything perfectly. I'm so excited. Second panel is in. Look at that. We can literally walk down our bus now. Ah! Wow. Last thing to do, at least for this center piece, is to cut a piece to fit this uh, down here. Are you wanting it to come like to the edge of this wood? Mm -hmm. Okay. I didn't know if we wanted it in the middle again or just all the way to the edge. All the way to the edge. Okay, perfect. In here. 34 and 7 eighths. Okay. He's going to make the mark on the plywood just so we can cut it right away, but we do have to, of course, insulate this area as well. We gotta do the whole measuring thing all over again. There you go. <laughs> Alrighty, y'all. Look what we have here. We have our runway. The middle of the bus has flooring. Freaking crazy. Wild. We did it. Like I said before, we're purposefully not finishing the sides because we want to kind of finish some of our floor plan. We wanted to finish cutting all the plywood to at least lay down this week, but we didn't get there. We're losing daylight already, as you can see. So it's time to head home. That'll be something that we have to do next time for sure. It feels great though. It does feel great that I can just like walk in here without tripping over the fucking braces. 